Just Melissa Barrington with a Miami Valley certified most accurate forecast. Well, that was definitely an inspiring story and maybe you have gone out and helped your neighbor since yesterday, helping them shovel some of the snow that's out there. It isn't a lot. We are lucky that we don't have a lot of snow out there, but we did pick up an additional coating of snow during the overnight hours. And as you can see here on our Trotwood camera, uh, it's still snowing out there. It's not adding up to a lot, but some locations may pick up as much as a half an inch of snow today or have already seen that during the overnight hours. And we've had gusty winds as well. As you can see, that flag is flying there and you can see the wind is blowing. That's for sure. And that is giving us a wind chill. So slick conditions on the roadways here this morning. We are expecting scattered snow showers and frigid temperatures through the day today. Morning wind chills will be below zero. However, we do have sunshine in the forecast for tomorrow. Still chilly tomorrow, but temperatures rise into the 20s. And then we have a rapid warm up next week. So all the snow that's out there, it's going to melt. So if you want to enjoy the snow, probably need to do that today or tomorrow. But today is going to be cold as those wind chills will be uh, below zero. They are running 10 degrees below zero uh, right now, such as 11 below it currently in Dayton. That wind chill advisory continues until noon today. Uh, 12 below is how it feels in Springfield, nine below in Springboro and seven below in Bell Fountain. Actual air temperatures are currently in the single digits. It's one above right now in Richmond, four above in Greenville, as well as in uh, Springfield. Dayton is currently coming in at six degrees. So if your kids went out yesterday sledding well today they may want to do it again and boy you got to bundle them up if they are going sledding later on this afternoon temperatures only rise to about 16 degrees we'll see on and off snow showers today shouldn't add up to a lot as we go through the rest of the day today but again just be aware that those snow showers are out there and there's still slick spots on the roads wind chills today by this afternoon should be in the single digits so bundle up your little ones as they head out to go uh, sledding or maybe you're going skiing today. As you can see here, all three area uh, ski resorts are open. Perfect North now has a base of nine to 30 inches. They have all their trails open. Same thing at Snow Trails. All of their trails are also open. So I'm sure it'll be a busy day, not only today, but tomorrow will be a really nice day outside. It'll be a better day tomorrow to go skiing, but probably really crowded. Now, if going outside is not your thing, maybe you're going to the uh, Flyers game later on this afternoon. Expecting temperatures around the lunch hour around 13, 4 o'clock, 16 degrees. Also, Wright State is also in town. They're playing tonight. You could do a double and go to the Flyers at 1230 and then go to Wright State at 7 o'clock tonight. Temperatures tonight, though, drop down into the single digits once again. As you can see, some locations may even drop down to around zero by tomorrow morning. And then tomorrow we'll see temperatures a little bit warmer. Everybody's going to rise into the mid-20s in most locations. Uh, 27 tomorrow in Springboro, 24, 25 in Eaton tomorrow, as well as in Dayton. After tomorrow, we have a rapid warm up as we go into next week. Temperatures will rise into the 50s. Normal high this time of the year is 37. So today significantly below average, a high only of 16 degrees, a few scattered snow showers. And of course, those sub zero wind chills mainly this morning, high of 16. Tonight down to two. It'll be another really frigid night. We'll still have some evening snow showers. Otherwise, we'll see partly mostly cloudy skies. And then tomorrow a little bit warmer. We'll see some sunshine tomorrow, high of 25. In your extended Storm Team 2 forecast here, we're looking at temperatures in the mid 30s on Monday. Monday looks like actually a really nice day. That's about where we should be for this time of the year. Then Monday night, we're going to see some rain, possibly some freezing rain, then change over to all rain Tuesday and Wednesday with highs in the low 50s by Wednesday and Thursday. And of course, you